Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this one, I want to talk to you about FlexClip. FlexClip is a browser-based video editor, and it's actually much, much more. It's a combination of video editor, graphic design uh, software, motion graphic software, and very, very specifically, templated software that you can actually go in and edit. Now, this is great. This is a great piece of software for anybody that makes videos, but if you're a small to medium-sized business, this is especially great because this could save you a lot of time and a lot of headache and in particular, a lot of money. And I'm gonna show you why. Now, let's just get started in here. So flexclip.com is all you gotta do to get going. It just asks you to sign in. You can either create a free login or just sign in. And here we go. You get a whole bunch of options, but what you really wanna pay attention to, in my personal opinion, where this really separates itself, is the hundreds, and I mean hundreds, even thousands of pre-built motion graphics, templates, stock video, all combined into incredible looking stuff that you can't really get anywhere else unless you paid a lot of money. For example, let's hover over this one here, the very first one under most popular. This is a nice simple business video slideshow template type thing. It looks great, highly professional, very hard to do if you don't know how to use After Effects and Premiere Pro and all those tools. It, it, this, it, it would just take you forever to do this or you'd have to pay a lot of money to get it done. They've already done it and you can now go in and adjust it. So keep that in the back of your head. You can actually do all this stuff that costs tons of money you can, like, for example, I'm going to go here to elements.envato. So in, if you go to Envato, I have a subscription here. And in Envato, I can go to my video templates and flip around. And you'll see here all these different things. But I pay $200 a year or something like that, like that to have access to all of this. In FlexClip, it's just already here. They've got thousands of them. And they're good to go. So with that out of the with that out of the way and with that in the back of your head, let's get into the actual software and let's roll. Okay, so... I'm not gonna waste too much more of your time. I'm gonna show you how it's done. So here we go. Once you log in, you get a whole bunch of options. You can start from scratch. If you know what you're doing and you just wanna create something simple, click that button. It's just like a video editor, drag and drop what you want in, good to go. For those of you that don't wanna start from scratch and you wanna use something pre-built that looks great, go ahead and flip through it. You can go through here. So if you're looking for something personal, you want a wedding, an anniversary, something like that, a farewell, whatever, they've got them all kind of categorized. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and make this into a small business because I think that's where the most value is. And then when I hover over businesses and services, well, there's all these different options. So let's say we're a real estate agent. Okay, we're a real estate company and I wanna make some cool stuff. Right off the bat, you're gonna see here they've got 150 video templates ready to go and read it to be used. That's incredible. That is a ton of money and a ton of savings if you were to create these from your own or pay for access to them. Again, huge money. All right, here we go. Going down through them, you're gonna see all of these different options. You'll see they're in different sizes and aspect ratios. If you want an Instagram story, they've got that sort of size. If you want a YouTube video, a proper YouTube video, go ahead, a TikTok size, it's all here. Just flip through them, they're all really, really good, but let's go ahead and just select one and get going. So I like this one here, so I'm gonna go ahead and customize this one. So all I'm gonna do is gonna click on preview or customize. I'm gonna click on customize, and off we go. It's gonna load up the editor, and you're gonna get a whole bunch of different options, but luckily it's very, very simple to use, so I'm gonna go through them. So what's this one here? Import media. So I can either start with what they have, and they have some really nice video in there, don't get me wrong, or I can go ahead and use my Finder or my Explorer and bring in my own content. I'm gonna go ahead with what, what they have for now because I'm gonna show you how to customize the the, the, type, the typing, the text, the, the naming and stuff like that. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you how to import your own video. But just keep in mind that it's all there. So here's the timeline, here's your playhead. You can scrub through. And of course, if you've used any video editors, you're gonna see, you're gonna know kind of what's going on here. We're just scrubbing through here and this just shows us what we've got. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and work on the first, I guess, five seconds here. It's kind of like a slide, but not quite. So I'm just gonna click on it. And when I do that, you're gonna see here that when I hover over the, uh, over the storyboard here, I can actually go ahead and make changes. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go, instead of look for dream house, which eh, you know doesn't really make a lot of sense, doesn't sound quite right. I'm just gonna go ahead, double click on it, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and write looking for, so that's how I would say it, looking for, and then, okay, click out. All right, dream, I'm gonna go and double click on that, and that would be your dream. Click out, house, sounds good. Looking for your dream house, there you go. I'm gonna move this a little bit to the left maybe because I'm gonna go ahead and set the spacing. 
Uh, something like that, okay? Now look, I've already changed it. Looking. There you go. Looking for your dream house. There we go. It's done. Now I can go ahead and change my company name. I'm going to go ahead and change it. So instead of, you know, the generic, I'm going to go Kingston Media because that's the name of my bulldog. And presto, the first slide is, is changed. We've already gone ahead and basically customized it to our personal needs. So here we go. Clicking it across. Kingston Media. Off we go. And you, of course, you saw that I can go ahead and make all of these changes. Now, if I want to go ahead and go a little further and click in a little bit and change the video, I'm going to double click on it. And when I do that, this is going to open up the more detailed timeline. And this is going to have all of the different timings. So when I kind of scrub through this, and this might be a little bit too complicated for, for a new person, but for those of you that know how to video edit and are looking for like an advanced editor, it just a heads up, this has that functionality. Now, I'm going to go ahead and click on this video here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on it. And I'm going to go ahead and change it. So I'm just going to go double click. Oops, I'm going to click over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab from something from my finder. So I've got this image here of a house that I want to drag and drop in. I don't want to use theirs. I want to use mine. I'm just going to drag and drop it. And when I do that, it says drag and replace background. Watch this. This is pretty cool. It has automatically now gone ahead and added in my video. See what's happened here? So we've changed all of the wording. We've changed it. We've gone ahead and we've added in our company name. We've changed out the background video. Easy, simple as pie. I didn't have to do very much of anything. Now let's go back out. So I'm going to wait and go click on the back button here. And now we're back at the beginning. And presto, let's slide through. There we go. Now the second one, we can help. I'm just going to go ahead and change this into my website, www.aiinaminute.com, something like that. Oops, the www should be whatever, something like that. And then because I want to show you a little more, I'll click on this and I'll change it from able font to something a little different. So maybe we'll go with a lata, I don't know, or yeah, whatever. You see, you can access all these different fonts here as well. And of course, we can adjust where it sits. So all of this is very, very adjustable, standard stuff you would get in any regular uh, video editor, but it's all here. Now, I would slide through it, and that looks great. Let's go ahead and move forward. Looks good. I would go ahead, and if I wanted to continue doing this, I would change that. But this is how easy this is to use. And at the end of the day, you can go ahead and delete sections. So if, if I don't want that section, I just deleted the section. I mean, it's all there. You can click on the music. It comes with an already pre-built song. But if you don't like the song, you can always go over here to the left side, click on audio, and then change it from whatever the heck they've selected to maybe one of these ones. You can sit there and listen to it. Okay, that sounds good. So you can select any of these uh, music that you can add in. I mean, it's just it's just all there. If I wanted to add in some elements, so if I wanted to add in like a, a YouTube block like this one, I would just click on it and then bang, there it is. I've added it to it and I would put that in the bottom right. Or if I wanted to maybe put in like something like subscribe or, you know, use my hashtag, etc. They're all in here. You can go through all of this, your stuff, yourself, pardon me. It's super easy to use. You can add text, titles, Whatever it is you really want, it's got all of these things pre-built, ready to go. That's why if you're a small business owner and you don't want to spend tons of money doing this yourself, check this out. Now, let's just get right to the end of it. To export it, all you got to do is go up here to hit the export button, and then bang, you get three options. The first one is 480p, that's the basic option. If you want 720p, which is the first level of high definition, that requires a basic package, which I believe is paid for. Um, I'm going to go ahead and export it at 480p, but you know what? You can go ahead and export it higher if you want to pay for it. And then literally, that's it. It downloads, and it's ready to go. You really should think about this if you're in the areas that I mentioned, guys. Thanks for watching this video. A ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.